Now that you have completed step 2 on the Wii, it is time to prepare for step 3. Insert your SD card into your SD card reader. And we will close out of this. Go to computer, right click on it, and format it. Start and OK. There was an error in the original download that I had emailed a second one that had an additional file. And that is step 3 clean SD. This is the final step on the computer. We will just copy these to your f SD. Now we will go back to computer and eject removable disk. You are now done with step two, 3 on the computer. Proceed on to the Wii. Removable disk. Now for part 3. We'll load up our system. Press A to continue. Navigate to the homebrew channel. Start it. And insert the SD card that we prepared for step three. <coughs> and in here are a list of apps. We are going to run MiIOS Patcher, which will allow you to run GameCube Homebrew. For this Homebrew, we will need a GameCube controller. So we're going to plug in our GameCube controller into the Wii. And then we're just going to hit load. And then we're going to hit the right arrow on the GameCube controller to change version to MiOS version 8. And now we're going to hit X to enable Wii Backup Launcher. So we're going to hit X and it's and the bottom will say version MiOS V8 supported boot method run GC backup plus Wii backup launcher and you're going to press A to install the patches I already have these installed so I'm not going to install them again so once it installs just shut down your Wii We no longer need the GameCube controller.
Now we will start up our Wii again. But you will notice that it is different now. <clears throat> this is Boot Me. It is the number one recovery tool for the Wii. It can fix your Wii in almost any situation. But in order for this to actually be useful, we must first make a backup. In this, the Wii Remote does not work. You can use a GameCube controller or the buttons on the front of the Wii. Press power to move right. We're going to go to the one that has the two gears on it and press reset, which is the equivalent of select. And you'll go to the first one that shows a chip going to an SD card. And we're going to hit reset again. It will start backing up our Wii. This is a very important step. that will allow you to go back if anything ever happens to your Wii. This can take up to 20 minutes, so I'm not going to record it all. Little black spots that appear are bad blocks. In order to keep the prices of memory chips down, they do not come out 100% from the factory. There are small amounts of blocks, usually under 20 blocks, that are bad. This is normal and it is okay. Nintendo actually approves of them being like this. Having bad blocks. They purchase the chips like that. Right arrow. Now it will begin to verify. This just checks that everything is on the backup is the same as it is on the actual Wii. Navigate to... Okay. So now it is finished and it has verified. You can now hit any button to exit this. And we are going to go back to the arrow and hit power. And we're going to hit reset to go to the Wii menu. Now your Wii is complete with the addition of these channels. And here I would like to demonstrate a few apps. Okay. MiOS Patcher. Once you have installed it, you can delete it for safety. So then we're going to delete it. Okay. And in here, there is USB Load GX, Wii Flow, Homebrew Browser, M Player CE, NeoGamma. Soft chip and we explore. I'm going to demonstrate homebrew browser. This is kind of like an app store for homebrew Wii's. 
Okay, it's gone fuzzy. Okay, there we go. <coughs> and there are many different games. There's emulators for Game Boys, NES, Sega, N64, Pac-Man, and then there are media utilities. Mplayer CE is already installed that allows you to listen to music. And these are utilities. Shouldn't shouldn't install these unless you know what they do. Wii Explorer is already installed. And we're gonna show demos. These are just little simulators to show what Wii Homebrew can do. Uh, they're not really games. And I'll show you how to install a homebrew. You're gonna click on it. In this case, it would be System Check GX. And we're gonna hit download. And it'll automatically download and install to your SD card. These are just, I'm just demonstrating how to do this. You do not have to download System Check. Oh. Oops, hit the wrong button. This is just an app store. Everything in here is free, made by the developers. and whatever else you want to install you can install and when you're done you're gonna hit the home button and return to loader this will send you back to the Humber channel and as you can see the apps that you downloaded from there will show up in your Humber channel and some other useful apps are USB Loader GX, Wii Flow M Player C allows you to listen to music and other media, Neo Gamma, Soft Chip, and We Explorer. System Check I just downloaded to show you how to download an app. We Explorer is a file browser for your Wii. And that's about it. And as you can see, the Wii is just like it would normally. It just has these additional channels. And you can arrange them however you want. And that would be it. Thank you for watching.